What's up guys? So today in this video I'm going to show you how we found Nacho and we used Airtable to organize it all and we use Airtable now for his finances and everything. Um, I'm going to go through all of that in this video so if you're interested in that you can stick around. But if you haven't met me before my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we usually do is we help business owners optimize their information systems using tools like Airtable, Zapier, and a lot of other tools like that, like Slack or communications, Asana for project management stuff. But in this video, I wanted to show you how we used Airtable to organize finding this little puppy right here. So I'll get right into that, but, but if you're interested in any of the services, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so as you can see, we are in the Corgi Corral because we are specifically looking for Corgi, not any other puppies. And so my girlfriend basically put together most of this part of the database. And this basically, the first thing we wanted to track was dogs. And a large purpose of this video is to just show I'm not always just using it for business as well as you don't always have to just use it for business either. Airtable is great because it's similar to Excel. You can track a lot of personal stuff in it. You can have a lot of personal data in here. So this is our dog search right here. So these were a few different breeders that we were looking at to get a AKC or whatever Corgi. And so these are the ones we ended up looking at. And this, we ended up going with Marlis because she had the exact kind we wanted. But this is just some of the fields you might want. So if you want to keep track of like the breeder name, we kept track of the price to sort of see what was the differences if some were way out of our budget versus not. As well as we gave like a personal rating, how we felt with the breeder, how they treated us, the communication there, as well as what, what kind of a dog they were. So I know there's a lot of different kinds of corgis that my girlfriend knows about that I personally don't. But these were our ratings together. And then we also had some notes. So... They had a tri-colored boy corgi, and then we also kept track of their location. So I won't go into all of that and show where all of they are, but basically we just use like Facebook, not Facebook Marketplace, but Facebook groups to find these and organize these and really figure out which ones we really wanted to go with to get our corgi. So this is the first page. So we just managed like trying to find which corgi we were gonna get and like that way we didn't have to like remember oh, what, what was this Corgi? Like, where were they at? Which, which person was I messaging there? You can keep track of it really nicely with just a simple, really simple table like this, not even any linked fields or anything. You could go into a linked field if you wanted to keep track of which dogs were at which breeder, assuming you have multiple dogs at one breeder that you're looking for. But this is really all you would probably need. It's all we needed. Um, so now I'll go into the money. So the money table is basically just looking at what are all the costs that we're going to have with the Corgi. That way we can budget it over the last few months and then the next few months. To, that way it's not all like a one-time cost. As well as evaluating what's like a monthly cost. You can see like some of these are one-time versus monthly. It's like obviously we only are getting one dog so it's just a one-time cost. And she had like a pet deposit at her apartment and all this other stuff. So... This really, like you can see the sum at the bottom, you can see the actual cost on what we actually ended up spending money on. And this isn't exactly up to date because we just got him and we're still buying a lot of stuff now for him. But you can use another table like this, like money to just track what are gonna be the expenses. That way buying a dog can be a lot more expensive than most people think. So listing out all, maybe if you can get stuff from friends, that'd be great. But listing out all of the costs that you're actually going to have I think that's really beneficial so that there's no hidden surprises or anything when you end up getting it and you find out, oh, I need to buy all this, that, and the other. So now the last table that I think I was actually introduced to pet insurance from my good friend Luke, but the last table is comparing pet insurance. So with the first one, we were comparing different dogs, and then the second table, we were comparing the different costs associated with those dogs. This last table that we really use a lot is comparing these pet insurance policies. So we were looking at pet insurance because there can be a lot of hidden costs and that kind of stuff with pet bills. So you can have another table similar to this and just use each record, which is this right along here. And you can say, this is the name of the pet insurance company. 
This is the monthly total, the annual total, the deductible, and all of the specifics about it. So you can either use this or like a, if you wanted to use a multi-select there, you could use that as well. But we found this to be just very beneficial comparing like, okay, what's the lowest cost per month, but what do they cover? So it's really good to compare all these different aspects and you can do that very well rather than like having four browsers up on your desktop and then say you don't want to make a decision right now, you can just exit out of all those because you've entered the key in information that's going to help you make decisions in here. And that's the same in personal, so like for trying to find a Corgi or for your business. Really, you're using your database so that you can make better decisions and so you can make more informed decisions by using the data that you input in here or maybe you have automations as well. This one doesn't need any automations, but it's just really good to see what are all the costs, what are our options for finding a Corgi, and then what are the different insurance policies that we might be looking at. And we were recommend, recommended Lemonade, so I think we're going with them if you're curious, but let me know what you thought of this video. If you enjoyed seeing Nacho, the Corgi, he's a boy. He was born on Thanksgiving of 2020, so wherever you're listening to this in the middle of the pandemic, um, he was born on Thanksgiving the day after my birthday. But if you wanna see more videos like this, throw a comment in the comments section. And if you're brand new to Airtable, you should go watch this video right here if you're interested in using it. It's basically just an introduction on how to set essentially all of this up, but also how to get started using it in your personal life or your business and really get familiar with all of the different tables, the different bases, all these, the field types, views, I know it can be a lot, so if you just check check out this end screen, go click on the video in the end screen, it'll take you to that video and you can really get an in-depth dive on what is their table, what's it good for, and how can you set one up for yourself. So I encourage you to go check that out, and without further ado, I'll see you in the next one, and have a great day.